All right, ladies and gentlemen, the moment has arrived. It's time for a new DSP tries it. I know you guys get excited for DSP tries it because I rarely do it. We got another very special vest event going on today. And today I'm going to do something unprecedented, something I have never done <clears throat> in the 10 plus years of DSP tries it. All right, today we are going to do a side by side taste test comparison. Two burgers from Burger King. One is a real Whopper, and one is the Impossible Whopper. Now, to clarify, I have never had the Impossible Whopper ever before. I don't know what it tastes like. I don't know if it actually tastes like a real Whopper or not. I have no clue, okay? Also, I love the real Whopper, okay? I absolutely love the real Whopper a lot. So... People have been asking me to try the Impossible Whopper for a while. It came out, what was it, like a year and a half ago or something like that? They've been asking me to do it, and I said, I don't do DSP tries it anymore. Sorry, guys, I don't eat fast food. But since we've been doing these vest celebrations, and since you guys are so supportive, I decided I would do another a DSP tries it, and you guys said, we got to do this, man. This is something that we've wanted you to do for the longest time. All right? And so I said, all right, I'll do it. But I wanted to do a special spin. So what I've done is I ordered... One of each, the same exact preparation, all right? I don't know. There's no nothing to discern between these two. I don't know which burger's which right now, okay? I have no idea. What I'm going to do is by sight, by smell, and by taste, I'm going to try to determine which one's the Impossible Whopper, and then I'm going to tell you what I actually think it's like, okay? By the way, oh my God, they smell good. Oh, I'm so hungry too. Mm. They both smell great. Um, Ryan... Did 200 bit cheers when he said, yes, bring on the burger. And then he said, thank you for doing another DSP tries it. Okay. All right. Now, <laughs> let's talk the Whopper. It's a big burger from Burger King. It's a lot of meat. It's one of my favorite burgers of all time. It's flame broiled instead of being uh, fried. So it's a lot less greasy than other burgers that you would get at a fast food place. And it has a cool char flavor to it because it's made on a grill. So it actually has, in my opinion, more flavor than a lot of other burgers you would get out there. Certainly if you're doing a head-to-head -head competition between like Burger King and McDonald's, I would eat Burger King 10 times out of 10. It's that good. The Whopper itself is a giant meat patty. Well, in the case of the real Whopper, not the Impossible Whopper. That has lettuce, tomato, pickles, onions, mayo, and ketchup on a sesame seed bun. Now, you can get variations with cheese or bacon, but I just got the standard, okay? Now, looking at these two Whoppers, okay, just the look of the two, they look almost identical when you're looking at them, right? Um, they have the same grill marks. If you look, both Whoppers have, like, grill marks on them, okay? So, in that case, that's really not a way to discern them between the two. Looking at both, this one in my left hand Looks like it's a little bit more darker and singed around the edges. The one in my right hand looks like it's more of a squared off patty. All right. And it looks a little bit lighter in color. So if you look up close, right, this one's lighter in color and a little bit more like, like straight on the edge. While this one looks more like a natural burger. Just off the looks, I'm going to guess this is the Impossible Whopper and this is the real Whopper. Okay. So now, assuming that this is the Impossible Whopper. I want to take a look at it first and just see, you know, how different does it look from a real Whopper, okay? So looking at it initially, the patty itself does look like it's a preformed patty of something that's not meat. It does. It kind of reminds me of uh, some of those burgers that are supposed to be imitation burgers. That's kind of what it looks like to me. doesn't mean anything about the flavor, but certainly looking at the burger itself... Um, you know what though, but then when I look at the bottom of it, that looks like almost like real meat. Maybe I'm off, but it does. It kind of looks like real meat from the bottom. Okay. Let's take a look at the other one. So this is the one that I suspect is the real Whopper. Okay. And you know, I think that the real the, the key evidence here that it's a real Whopper is the burger's shape changed as it cooked. You can actually see it's not perfectly rounded. If it's in its meat-based, you're going to have fat that's going to render off of it, and therefore it's going to change shape. 
So I'm going to guess this is the real burger. I really do think this is the real burger. Although if you look at the bottom, it looks kind of similar to the other one on the bottom. A little bit darker color, but it does look similar on the bottom as well. Okay, I, I think I'm right. Okay. Um, smelling it? it? Smells exactly as I expect the Whopper to smell. I smell the condiments, like the, the tanginess of the ketchup. I smell some of the onion. I smell a little bit of the charred meat. Smelling the one that I suspect is the Impossible Whopper? It smells the same. They actually smell exactly the same. Okay, they do. They smell exactly the same to me. All right, so here's what I'm going to do. Let's take a bite of the real Whopper. That I think is the real Whopper, not confirmed. Let's take a bite of the one that I think is the real Whopper. And then I'm going to take a bite of the supposed uh, impossible Whopper. And we're going to go from there. <laughs> well, Spartan King just tipped $10. Says, Before you bite the burgers, put on gunner glasses. Oh, my God. All right, well, we did hit the vest goal for today. Thank you guys very much. I appreciate that. There we go. Ah. Shit. Thank you very much. We're now at Vest Streak 151. Awesome. All right, you guys want me to put on the glasses? You don't want me to switch vests? Because I, you know, it was either going to be switched to the platinum vest or put on the glasses. I guess people want the glasses. I don't know how I'm supposed to eat this with glasses on. Okay. All right. Here we go. <laughs> it's actually a lot easier to wear these because I'm not wearing headphones today. I was thinking, oh no, it's going to interfere because it's actually annoying to wear these when I have the headphones on, but I'm not playing games today, so it's actually not that big of a deal. Okay. So, first, like I said, this is the one I suspect is the real Whopper. Wait, is it? This is the one I suspect is the real Whopper. Let's take a let's take a bite. Okay. Hmm. Mm. It's tasty. A little disappointing because it's, it's cool. It's cold. I had it delivered. I didn't drive to Burger King to get it fresh. So it probably was made like a half an hour ago. So obviously it's cold. But the flavor's gone. In fact, look. That's what it looks like. The clean bite, right? You can see all the... What do they call that when you dissect something? You see it down the middle? I forget what they call those when you can see all the layers. But it was quite good. I tasted more... You taste more of the bun and the condiments and, and the, the veggies when you first bite it. Cross section. That's what it's called. A cross section. You can see like a cross section of the burger just by biting it like that, right? Um, it's good. Although, admittedly, the burger flavor is is, is kind of light. You get a little more of the aftertaste. You get like a char aftertaste in your mouth from it. Okay. So I suspect that's the regular burger. Let's now take a bite of what I suspect is the Impossible Whopper. Okay. Hmm. There's the cross section of that after the bite. All right. I'm going to be honest. It doesn't taste like the regular Whopper. It really doesn't actually. It tastes different. I would say it does have a char flavor to it, but it doesn't necessarily taste like meat. It doesn't. It's good. I actually like the flavor of it. I'm going to take another bite. It's not bad. I would say... Hold on. There you go. I would say... 
man, it's hard to tell. Here's what I actually want to do. I want to take a little piece of just the burger itself and eat it just without the condiments. I just want to break a piece off, okay? Doesn't smell like a burger. It's got a unique smell, but I don't know what... I actually don't know what that smells like. You don't get... There's no... How can I, how can I best say this? There's no savoriness to that burger. When you eat a burger, you get a savory flavor. You know what I mean? Like that meat is packed with nutrients. That meat is packed with, with, with it, let's admit it, fat. And I don't get that out of that burger. I get more like it has a little bit of flavor to it, but I can't even put my finger on what it does taste like. But it certainly doesn't taste like the meat from this Whopper. In fact, I'm going to do exactly the same thing here. I'm going to rip a piece off of this Whopper just to taste it, right, and compare it. See? I smell that. I smell meat. I smell char. It seems like it's dense, right? I would definitely... The consistency of the real Whopper is more dense and actually more chewy than the Impossible Whopper. The Impossible Whopper is a little bit more airy, I would say. And lighter, maybe that's a good thing. If you're if you're looking to eat something that's not real meat, and it's a lighter a lighter eat, right? Maybe that's a good thing. Okay, let me take another. I'll take another bite. See here. Hmm. See, it's not bad at all. And in fact, what I would say is. The fact that it has all those veggies, those nice fresh veggies, and the condiments, it goes together perfectly. If I were just to sit down and just eat this this Whopper, this Impossible Whopper patty, maybe I would be a little bit disappointed. It, do, it does have flame char taste to it. Let me confirm. It absolutely has that flame grilled flavor as the regular Whopper does. Okay? 100% I taste that. But the consistency is it's lighter, it's not as dense, and it just doesn't have that flavor, that meat flavor at all. It still has flavor, but it's probably the spices and things in the patty itself. It's not the actual flavor of meat. They didn't nail it, okay? <laughs> Alright, so here's what I'll do. I'll take one more bite of each, and I'm going to give you my verdict. Let me take another bite of the regular Whopper here, okay? Mm. That savoriness, that meatiness comes through so well in the Whopper. And the burger's so big, you get so much of it. Some people argue they don't like the Whopper because it's too flat. They say because the burger is so flat, you lose a lot of the juiciness. Admittedly, this burger ain't juicy. You're not buying a Whopper for the juice, but you are getting a good meat flavor. Most of the juice would be considered the fat that when you grilled it, it went through the grill. I'm not saying this thing's healthy. It ain't. Trust me. It ain't healthy. But compared to McDonald's or other places that just use the grill fry, this thing's not cooking constantly in its own juices. So it's definitely not a grease-dripping burger. I've never once in my life eaten a Whopper that was dripping with grease. Not once. Okay? All right. I should call this out. Someone's saying, what about the saltiness? Because I always call it the saltiness and DSP tries it. Neither burger is particularly salty. That's another thing about the Whopper. It's not a super salt piece of food like a lot of other fast foods you'll buy. It's just, oh, I tasted the salt. No, it's not. It's actually you taste the, you taste the flavors of whatever the meat is. You taste the char and you taste the flavor of all the veggies and the condiments. You don't taste salt, salt, salt. There's nothing overpowering that's ruining the flavor. And that's another reason why I really like the Whopper. Okay. Okay. Let's take another bite of the Impossible Whopper, and then I'm going to tell you guys what I think overall. Okay. Okay. 
Hmm. Okay. Actually, there were a few shout-outs here. Spartan King cheered and said, Where's the mayo? Every time I get BK, they smother it with so much mayo, I have to wipe some off. There is a lot of mayo on it, but it's not overpowering to the point where it's making a mess. They did a good job there. They actually did overcook the bun on the Impossible Whopper. The bottom is kind of hard. I think they over-toasted it. Burger King toasts their buns. Some other places don't. They over-toasted the bottom on this one. Awful Waffle, resubscribe for two months. Thank you, Awful Waffle. Master Nutella... Did a 50-bit cheer and says, I see you're enjoying that Krabby Patty after playing SpongeBob yesterday. I actually wonder how much how a Krabby Patty would taste if it's made of real crab. Probably damn good. Tribe did a 100-bit cheer and said, Burger straight out of the fucking trash. No, it's not. And Wingstein von Samuel Stang subscribed to the channel. Oh, boy. All right. So here's the deal. I can tell you right now, the Impossible Whopper, it's lighter than the regular Whopper. It's not as dense whatsoever. And it doesn't really have a meat flavor to it. It still tastes good. It's got good herbs and spices in it. it the, the flavor complements the veggies and the con, con, condiments that are on the burger itself. But it doesn't taste like a normal Whopper to me. I guess the, the thing that's saying closest is that because it has a char flavor to it, okay. But it definitely doesn't taste like real meat to me. Especially when you're eating it and you feel it's lighter in your mouth. It doesn't feel like real meat. It doesn't necessarily have that savory flavor of a real burger. Um, now, from what I'm going to understand, if you look at the, the calorie intake and everything, and you compare these two, yes, the Impossible Whopper is healthier for you than the regular Whopper. But not by much. And you would not go to Burger King and eat this and say, oh, this is healthy. It's not. It's still, you know, it's grease. It's fat calories. It's, you know, the condiments, all that. It's still just, you know, I wouldn't say just as bad, but you're not, oh, man, Burger King finally has a non-meat alternative. I got to go there and get it because it's going to be health food. No. It's definitely not considered healthy at all. Okay, at all. Price-wise, usually you can get a regular Whopper for various different price points. I've seen it for as cheap as $2.50 because they do two for $5 deals. I've seen it for as expensive as like almost $6. Okay? The Impossible Whopper sells for between $5 and $6. Okay? So it's roughly in line with the price of the Whopper, actually usually a little bit more expensive. So you're going to pay a little bit of a premium price to get the Impossible Whopper. If you are, a, you know, not, if you just don't eat meat, and you want to eat at Burger King, your friends are eating at Burger King, you can get this, and it kind of tastes like a burger, not dead on, kind of tastes like a burger, and it actually tastes good. It's definitely a good sandwich. Is it a good burger? Probably not. You don't get the flavor of meat. You don't get the savoriness of the meat. For that, you're going to want to go with the real Whopper, of course. But it's not bad. Um, I definitely think it's expensive. I think that the regular Whopper, for the value you get in the burger, should be around maybe 3 to $4 tops. Although today they charge like five or six. The Impossible Whopper is not worth six dollars. It's just not, okay? Especially because it's not as dense as the other Whopper. You may end up not even be as filled after you eat it as a regular Whopper. So I'm going to say probably overpriced for what it is. Not surprising. This is a big health food craze and everything. And people are trying to, oh, cut calories and whatever. It's definitely not worth six plus dollars. But what I would say is... um. All things considered, all right, all things considered, I would probably give the Impossible Whopper eh, maybe a three out of five, okay? It's good. It's not great. Um, it's not bad. It's certainly better than, than other things I've had. Um, I've had some veggie burgers that tasted purely like vegetables. This doesn't taste like vegetables, <laughs> but it doesn't taste like meat either, Um it's the closest kind of, of burger replacement that I've ever had to a real burger, but it certainly doesn't taste like a burger. So if that's what you're going for, you're probably going to be disappointed. I don't think anyone would go to Burger King, accidentally order the Impossible Whopper instead of the regular Whopper, eat it, and be like, wow, it tastes just like a real Whopper. It, it, you know, it doesn't, but it's still good. I would, I would order this if I were looking for a meat alternative. You know, me, I have issues eating a lot of red meat. If I was like a day, I don't want to eat red meat today, I would order this at Burger King. It doesn't taste bad to me at all. Um, I just think it's too expensive, okay? 
How does it compare to the Big Mac? The Big Mac's a joke. It's two regular burger patties on a ton of fucking white bread. The Big Mac is terrible. <laughs> okay, so that's my rating. By the way, the regular Whopper, I really like it. I would probably give the regular Whopper like a 3.5 or 4 out of 5. I think it's one of the better fast food burgers out there. Obviously, it's not as good as something freshly made like Five Guys or Habit Burger. Habit Burger is a step up from this, okay? But for a fast food quick quickie burger, oh, this is pretty damn good. I like the Whopper better than anything you would get at like McDonald's or something like that, okay? So I hope you guys enjoyed this head-to-head -head taste test. The Impossible versus the Whopper. I like the regular Whopper better, and the regular Whopper's cheaper. But this ain't bad. If you're looking for an alternative to real meat, this is certainly on par. It's not, uh, you know, it doesn't have that savory flavor, but I still like it. It's just a little bit pricey, but I would say about a 3 out of 5. Okay, guys? That's it. Can the Impossible Whopper taste test DSB tries it? Hope you guys enjoyed it. Thanks a lot for watching.